justice house of music now this is part four i think of a dvd now in this one let's just look at quarter chords quarter chords now uh let, let's see how you can apply quarter chords on the key of c now there are some of you who have absolutely no idea what a quarter chord is now um basically a quarter chord <laughs> let, let me explain this uh in a simple way so let's start from the major chord so this is a c major chord okay so this is a c major chord now if that's the c major chord uh we have something like uh c suspended two chord now how do you form a suspended two chord from this you just drop this third to the second so you have something like okay so You have a C sus two chord. If maybe you wanted, you wanted to do some other thing, instead of making it as as two, go back to the major. We could also make it as as four, which means we sharpen the third to the fourth. So we'll have something like. See that? Now that becomes a C sus four, or an F sus two. But th that really doesn't matter. So this is a C, C sus two. C sus four. Okay. So the main reason I did those suspended chords was to form a basis for what we call quarter chords. Now quarter chords are basically inversions of suspended chords. Okay. So assuming I I play this suspended chord on my right hand, then I instead of playing this C here, let me play it. Yeah. So You see that? That now becomes a quarter chord. So You see? So instead of playing it like this, I play like this. That becomes a quarter chord. Now, how does a quarter chord apply in the key of C. Let me show you uh, another way you can form a quarter chord. So, ways in which you can form a quarter chord. Number one, you either invert a suspended chord. Okay? So, a suspended two or a suspended four chord. So, this is a suspended two. The, here it's here it's, it's inversion. Here is its inversion. So, then the suspended four. Let's invert it. Becomes a quarter chord, okay? So you have Okay. So that that's basically uh a quarter chord. How you form a quarter chord? You just invert a suspended 2 or a suspended 4 chord. The second way you can form a quarter chord yeah, just counting, okay? So let's take the C major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Okay? So let's take the C. Our starting point is the C. So this is, the, is your first. One, two, three, four. So we are going to play a C and an F. Okay? So you have C major scale. One, two, three, four. Then, which is the next note that we'll need to form? Uh, now, we will go to the F major scale okay the f major scale looks something like one two three four five six seven one so one two three four five six seven one so we'll take the fourth of f so one two three four that becomes an a sharp or a b flat actually it's a b flat so one two three four so you have c you have f then you have b flat
let's now get to the use. So basically that's how we form a quarto chord. Let's say you want to form another quarto chord starting from the key of A, let's say. You just take you just find out the major scale. So what's the major scale of A? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So one, two, three, four. So A and D. Then go to the D major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So one, two, three, four. So anyway, so that's your quarter chord. That that's just how we form a quarter chord. So where do we use these quarter chords? Let's start with this one. The C quarter chord. Okay. So where do you use this? Let me show you something. So, so one to the two to the two to the three to the four. See such a movement? So one. The normal one. So C E G C E G. It's basically a one chord. Then see that two. Now on my left hand I have D and A sharp or D and B flat. Then on my on my right hand I have C, F and B flat. So on my left hand I have D and B flat. Then on my right hand I have this quarter chord, the C quarter chord, C, F, A sharp or B flat. So, so that becomes my two. And what do I do when I go to the three? Just move each of these notes by a whole tone. Just move it up by two steps. So this is what you'll have. So two to the three. So E C, then you have D G C. So then to the four. So basically that's what you have. So you have your one. can see I'm using the voicing I taught in part one and then I'm playing a six chord on my right and then I'm leading into it like so so last time to the two Pretty much it for those two quarter chords. Now, that's the C quarter chord. I don't think you're going to use it anywhere else, uh, apart from this. So le let's go to this D quarter chord. This one. We've even used it already. We've used it here. Somewhere these two to the three. We've already used it. That's one use. Okay? That's one use. You can play it with the three chord. So the three to the four. Now uh let's say 
we want to find another use of this code okay now uh, there is there is a certain movement assuming i want to go to the four So, assuming I want to go to the 4, which is my F, I could play that 4 with this same quarter chord, with this D quarter chord. So, like... You see what I did there? So, 1, let's say 2. right hand chord D G C that's a D quarter chord so so or oh, you don't have it doesn't have to be a one two three four I'm just using that progression for an example it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be that okay uh, you can even six two five one four like most people like to do you have your six then your two so basically the six two five one you start with the one chord on your right hand drop it okay then go to your flat seven chord which is a b flat major chord then drop the f to the e then go to the four chord. So this is your six, your two, your five, your one, to your four. So what, what, it doesn't have to be a one, two, three, four. It doesn't have to be two, three, four. So you could use that six to the two, to the five. So I did that. So you have your six. To the four. To the four. So that's basically uh, something simple you can use. So uh, now let's see where else you can apply these quarter chords so that's the three you can use it for the three you can use it for the four you can even use it for the six chord now if you use it for the six chord you make it a complete it's just a quarter chord but with four notes now this one has three if you add this six it becomes it still remains as a quarter chord but now with more notes. So you have six, two, five, and one. So you can use it on the six. So maybe you are you are doing a seven, three, six movement. So like the one I taught you where you play the seven with a major two in the previous sections. So check that out very well. Then to the three. Then to the six. So instead of just playing the six, with the five chord all the time you could play this okay you could play it with that chord that quarter chord so a g c then d g c so 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 or the major six one I taught you. And this is what I did there. So what I did there, I just started uh, with the quarter chord from E. The E quarter chord, E, A, D, then back to D, G, C. So, so. So, the 7, the one I taught you earlier, to the 3, then, see that? So, 
basically that's it. Uh, let's go back to this C quarter chord. Another use, you, another way you could use it is you see this five one progression, like the one I taught you six to the two. I just said you drop your first note, then that. So instead of you playing this all the time, especially this five one. You could use quarter chords. So you have your six. So you have your six. So instead of the two, we play the flat six. So you have your six. Just uh, don't make this complicated. Just drop every note by a semitone. So this comes here, this comes here, this comes here. So and drop every tone by a semitone. So 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 that will substitute